Assalamu alaikum and greetings, Alishan Mo here. Top of the morning, another FPV Racing Quadcopter review here. This time I have in my hands here is the DTS Q220 FPV Racing Quadcopter by Zonda Hobbies. Designed in Hong Kong, manufactured in China. Well, what is the difference? Hong Kong is China too. Anyway, so this is Zonda Hobbies Q220. I don't know why they write DTS here, uh, is, is it the digital track uh, sound, I'm not sure anyway. So, so this is Zonda Hobbies Q220, today we are going to unbox it, we are going to take a closer look at the components and talk about those components and of course after that I will prepare it and take it out for a flight and see how does it stand against all the other quadcopters from Ishin and other manufacturers that I have been reviewing. If it is any good or not, we will find out right after we fly it for the very first time. So first off, on the box it says what I have received. Basically they have a couple of different versions of DTS-Q220. But what I have received is the right hand circularly polarized antenna. Then I have received a long lens camera NTSC. And I received 600 milliwatt video transmitter and 30 amp ESCs. Okay, so it does come with 20 amp ESCs and Paul camera and of course, um, you know, different choices and of course different types of flight controllers uh, depending on the choice. Alright, let's unbox the Q220 from Zonda Hobbies. This is how it comes inside the box. First you get a warning statement. Very good, thank you very much. Now we have a card like us Zonda Hobbies and support how to get support I hope they will provide you support if something went wrong then we have a little bag which has a different cables velcro tape and double sided tape these are PWM PPM and other S bus type of cables for you to use various receivers with this quadcopter then we have a set of propellers they are 5 by 4 propellers and Zonda Hobby says these are unbreakable type propellers okay so unbreakable type propeller means you will actually break your motors probably but anyway we will see how unbreakable they are so one set of propeller only one set of propeller come on you could have given us two anyway one set of propeller let's dig in more then we have uh, antenna tubes okay a motor tool and some double sided tapes uh, probably looks like to actually build your uh, quadcopter some landing legs all right anyway we'll take a look at see what it is then we have a RHCP uh, clue relief antenna very very nice okay after that let's dig in more and we have another clue relief antenna that was for your video goggles I believe and this one is for the quadcopter after that we have in this bag some screws rubber band and some plastic items and a small hex head uh, driver okay next we have the quadcopter itself come on out this is the DTS 220 Q220 from Zonda Hobbies all right so this was it inside the box now let's take a closer look at the quadcopter all right so this is the Q220 here as a 220 mm wheel base that's what you should say a quadcopter at this side with at this side covered with this plastic okay you can take it out easily but putting it back on is a little bit of work you have the dip switches probably for you to change the frequencies of your video transmitter okay on the back side we have antenna and LEDs and an XT60 connector then we have LED lights on each arms okay on the front arms on the front on the rear arms on the rear we have LED lights for easy visibility of the quadcopter when you're flying. Uh, we have a 700 TV line camera, FPV camera, which you can actually adjust the angle according to your flight style. Very easily adjustable, very nice. And it is mounted on a vibration damping platform. Okay, so you will not get any vibration from your uh, propellers or motors when flying which is a very very nice thing thank you very much Zonda Hobbies for considering this 
because a lot of uh, manufacturers they just uh, strap the camera or stick the camera to the frame and when flying for the very first time you see a lot of jello and you are unable to fly most of the time. Okay, at this side of the quadcopter, which is the left side, uh, you can remove this rubber cover and you have a USB port for you to configure your flight controller, which is SP Racing F3 flight controller. The motors are DTS 2350KB motors. Well, I don't know who manufactures them. Uh, anyone can slap any kind of uh, um, sticker on the motor, but anyway, these are 2350KB motors. And we have already talked about that it has a 600 milliwatt video transmitter and it is using 30 amp ESCs. Now if you want to set up your receiver you will have to take this cover off and set up your receiver. I will probably set up a Taranis uh, receiver uh, X4R probably with PPM controls. That means a single cable. One more thing of course we have uh, another thing of course don't forget before we conclude a plenty of space to mount your uh, HD camera but it will be straight so you will have to make a kind of angle uh, angled bracket yourself to mount your HD camera. Now before we conclude let's look at the frame. Frame looks nice and tough when it comes to the carbon fiber section. It is not very thick probably 2 to 3 mm carbon fiber plates at most but they are all reinforced with some tough plastic and more carbon fiber plates all around. There is a plastic all around covering the quadcopter and all. There's a plastic all around covering the quadcopter electronics inside. Not only that but it's also strengthening the frame itself. So overall this is a nice tough frame. Alright this is it for the Zonda Hobbies Q220 FPV racing quadcopter. Next step for me is to prepare it and program it and then take it for the flight. So wait. Thank you for watching the video and thank you very much for your continued support towards my work on Please subscribe to my channel and stay updated for all the regular video uploads. If you like this video, please hit the like button and share the link over your social sites.